Thank you, Charles, very much. I asked you earlier if you ever wanted to be an actor or a performer of any sort, and uh, I don't know whether you have the idea it might be easy. Let me introduce a man who can vouch that it is not easy. From combat, Mr. Pierre Jalbert. <laughs> now, they, were, that, they didn't scare you, did they? No, I guess not. <laughs> I said, uh, right before we introduced Pierre, I said, now, don't scare him. He only does war every week. You make some pretty wild noises sometimes. We had a guest here almost wanted to leave as soon as they got the introduction. Now, Pierre, somebody sitting right there is thinking, gee, you know, I'd like to do what that man does. I'd like to be an actor. I'd like to be a singer. Was it easy? Uh, no, it took about 15 years, Dick. All right, now here's a man who was a professional skier to begin with, and his story is a typical Hollywood situation. Why did you give up skiing to become an actor? Well, actually, I gave up skiing uh, for about six years so that I could go into uh, the motion picture business, which I've always loved, always wanted to be an actor. All right, now you arrived in Hollywood. What was your first job? Did you sing, dance, play an instrument, <coughs> go on Broadway, what? I pumped gas for about 10 months. You really, you really pumped really gas? Did, yeah. All right, now that, uh, that's a story that sounds like it was written by a press agent, but it is true. Then what did you do? Then, uh, after the pumping gas was over and I was fired because I was loafing on the job, <laughs> I went uh, as a short order cook for a while. Then uh, I worked in a laboratory, and then finally I had a, uh, a good chance to get to Metro as a, what they call an apprentice editor. But what were you doing? Were you splicing, cutting films? That's something? right. You, uh, actually, you work um, after the film is shot. You have to put it together, you have to edit it, you know. And that takes at least three or four months after the production is done. Well, that certainly was valuable, wasn't it, in terms of being an actor? Yes, it was actually valuable because I did get the technical knowledge there. You know, I learned uh, as, a, as a technician. And then when I had the chance to become an actor, I had a little bit of a baggage of knowledge to help me function. All right, now you mentioned when you had the chance to become an actor. How did it happen? <coughs> did you plan it? Well, I had uh, for quite a while planned it, hoping uh, to get a job and working as an actor because I had some stage experience in Canada and I did a little bit in France. And then I came here with a name like Pierre Jalbert, especially in Hollywood, you know. Uh, Are they trying to change your name? I actually know. They always say, well, this is a strange name. I said, yes, it is, but it's my own. <laughs> so at least you were able to keep it. Uh, but did, did they just walk up on the street and say, you look like the type we want in combat and hire you? Well, the way I was hired, I was working at Metro. I was working on Mutant and the Bounty as, a, as an editor. And they needed a person who spoke English and French, but didn't actually spoke English with not too much of a French accent. And they needed a character in a Cajun from Louisiana. And I was tested for the job, especially, as a matter of fact, here in uh, ABC studio. Could be very close by, as a matter of fact. Well, the rest is history, but like all good things in television, we're uh, short-lived. Uh, the bandstand is 13 years old. That's kind of an unusual thing. Most of us can't look forward to that long. Someday combat will go off the air. It is inevitable. What will you do then? What would be your greatest ambition? Well, actually, I want to continue as an actor. I've, I've finally found what I love. I enjoy it. Uh, I want to continue as an actor, and uh, if not, I uh, have plans to uh, continue in production uh, with very close friends of mine here in Los Angeles. Uh, we will be forming a small company. I do a lot of writing, uh, and we want to continue. Uh, as a matter of fact, Hollywood is open for all talent, and uh, we hope to uh, produce our own, and uh, if I can act in them, well, I hope so. Pierre, well, the, the moral of the story is if you like it well enough, just keep at it and all will go well. Thank you so much. Thank nice to have much. you with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you.